Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to show you my updated December 2022 desk setup tour. Over the last couple of years, I've worked on creating a workspace that fits my needs as both a content creator and an attorney. And if there's one thing that I've learned from creating my workspace, it's that it's always okay to keep changing. Every day we learn something new and we figure out what works for us and what doesn't work for us. Before we get into the desk setup tour, I wanted to give you three tips for designing your workspace. First, focus on what works for you. You can always add or remove things from your desk as time goes on. And what's most important is that you don't need the latest and greatest technology to keep your workspace working for you. Second, don't be afraid to add or remove things as you see fit. And third, more isn't always better. Sometimes quality is greater than quantity. Be mindful of your workspace and try to keep things around you that motivate you and inspire you to work harder and smarter. Without further ado, let's check out my December 2022 desk setup tour. The first major change is the actual desk itself. This is the new Sway Standing Desk by Ergon Office. It is made of solid wood and is super high quality. My desktop is 30 by 60, but Ergon Office offers other sizes too. The new Sway Standing Desk is truly game changing. It offers a unique and intuitive design on its remote control, and it's unlike anything I've ever seen or used before. And really don't let the minimalist design fool you. The new swipe function lets you glide your finger across the remote and set your desk to your pre-saved standing or sitting height. The best part is that you don't have to swipe precisely on the line of the remote. You can even set the height for four different users, which is helpful if you share your desk or if you prefer a different height in various situations. Another unique feature of the Sway Desk is that it has a reminders option that will remind you to stand throughout the day. The desk is super user friendly and very intuitive to use. Sitting on top of the desk and holding up my MacBook is the Ergon Office desk shelf. This desk shelf is also made up of solid walnut wood and offers a super minimal and sleek design. I love how it matches my desk and I think I'll eventually add a catch-all tray for my smaller accessories like pens, SD cards, and adapters. But for now, I really like how minimal the shelf is. Also on top of my desk, I have Ergon Office's leather desk pad to protect the wood surface. This desk pad is made of full grain leather and offers a smooth surface for my mouse. I love how smooth and sleek this desk pad looks. The only downfall of any real leather product is that it leaves some smudges and fingerprints, but it's super easy to wipe away and honestly, the look and feel is worth it. For my chair, I'm using Ergon Office's U2 ergonomic chair. This chair is really like sitting on a cloud and I'm not even exaggerating. When I first sat on the U2 chair, I was extremely impressed. I've never had a more comfortable chair. Not only is the chair super comfortable, but it is also has essential features, including an ergonomic lumbar support with tension adjustment, adjustable arms for comfort, and a back inclination with a lockable feature. Using this chair has been super helpful for my posture and makes me forget I'm even sitting while working. I love this chair so much that I got a second one at the office for my day job. This chair is definitely worth the investment. If you're interested in some high quality and premium desk and accessories, check out Ergon Office. I'll put a link in the description to all the items that I discussed below. Another major change to my setup is the monitor. LG was kind enough to send me the new dual up monitor. And although they sent me this monitor, everything I say is from my own opinions, from my experience using it so far. This unique monitor is 28 inches and provides a 16 by 18 aspect ratio, which allows me to have sort of a vertical display while working. The resolution is 2560 by 2880, which is generally enough for everyday use. However, I do wish it were 4K to allow for a little bit more clarity, especially because I use my MacBook with the super high quality screen. The monitor also features an ergo stand, which allows me to easily tilt, swivel, and rotate the monitor. So I no longer have to stress about adjusting the tension of a monitor arm to meet my needs while I'm working. The ergo stand and clamp is really awesome, but be aware that it is pretty bulky. The dual up also supports USB type C with up to 90 watts of power delivery, allowing me to keep my MacBook powered while using the monitor. If your laptop doesn't support type C, the dual up also has HDMI ports and a display port. Overall, this monitor has been a great addition to my setup. It allows me to use multiple windows while working. And for example, I can have Final Cut Pro open at the bottom of the screen, then two other windows up top, and of course, whatever is on my MacBook screen itself. 
One downfall I've noticed is that the screen can sometimes feel a little too tall, which causes me some neck pain because I have to look up. I think this could be solved by lowering the monitor to be at a little bit more eye level, but because of my desk shelf, I can't lower it anymore. So I have been thinking about ways to rearrange the monitor to lower it to meet my needs, and we'll see what I come up with eventually. On top of my monitor is the LumCube monitor light. The monitor light illuminates the desk area and helps reduce my eye strain. Since my office doesn't have much natural light, the monitor light is a game changer, and honestly I cannot go without one anymore. You can also purchase a separate desktop remote that allows you to change the brightness and lighting to warm or cool tones. I would definitely recommend the separate remote, otherwise you'll have to adjust the monitor light on the light itself, and because the button is on the side of the light, it's possible to shift the entire light and knock it off your monitor because you have to push into the button pretty hard to turn it on and off. So you can avoid that mess by just getting the extra remote. Next, I also have the LumCube Edge desk light, which is perfect for providing light on my desk and for video calls. This LED light offers a soft but bright light for my video calls, and it can be controlled with the buttons on the light itself. I do wish there was an easier way to turn on the light, like a separate remote, um, but you just have to press the buttons on the actual light itself. The light is also adjustable, so it has various options like tilting and moving, which is really awesome, but it can be a little stiff at times. It also plugs in with an AC adapter, but it also includes a USB-A and USB-C port to plug in devices to it so that you can charge some additional devices on your desk as well. On each side of my desk, I have the Govi Lyra floor lamp. I really like these lights for an aesthetic but functional look to my workspace. The lamp is super minimal and you can connect the remote for both devices, or you can use the Govi app to control the lamps. The lamp also offers several different colors and there are many different fun settings that you can program on the lamp. But I'll be honest, I mainly just use it for white light around my desk. For my computer, I recently upgraded to the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. I opted for the one terabyte version because my last MacBook Pro that was only 512 gigs got filled up pretty quickly. And I've only had this computer for a few weeks, but I've loved it so far and editing has been so much easier and truly the display is amazing. Next, we have Grovemade's wooden MagSafe stand in the brass finish. This is probably my favorite piece on my desk. I love all MagSafe accessories, but this is just a work of art. It's really sturdy and it allows me to easily charge my phone while I'm working. Also on my desk, I have Grovemade's brass pen and notepad. I use the notepad to jot down random notes throughout the day. And although I love all things tech, I'm still a sucker for handwritten to-do notes. So Ugmonk was kind enough to send over the analog. I've seen the analog around YouTube and Instagram and was always curious about it, and I can confirm that the analog is an essential piece for my productivity. Its simple design allows me to keep myself on track for daily tasks, and it also includes a next day and some day cards to help prioritize my tasks. Ugmonk even has different task signals you can use to mark tasks as completed, in progress, or delegated. So this helps you keep organized throughout the day. The analog replaced my random sticky notes that I used to keep around my desk at all times, and I love that I have my to-do list all in one place. So I use my Grovemade notepad for random notes, and then I make my analog for specific to-do lists. For my peripherals, I'm still using Logitech's MX Mini Keys. This keyboard was released a few months ago, and it is really the perfect size to keep my desk feeling a little bit minimal. I love the feel of the MX Mini Keys because the keys are designed to have round edges that fit my fingers perfectly. The keyboard can be connected via Bluetooth or a USB port. Also, the best thing about the Logitech MX series is that it's compatible with both a Mac and PC, and the Logitech software makes it super easy to switch between different computers. For my mouse, I recently replaced my MX Anywhere 3 with Logitech's Lift Vertical Ergonomic Mouse. I did a full review of the mouse, which I'll link in my description below or up here. To sum up my full review of the Logitech Lift, it really is a great mouse if you suffer from wrist pain and need something more ergonomic. It has helped me out tremendously. And of course, I still keep my trackpad handy for when I'm doing video editing because the gestures for the Mac are just so much easier to use on the trackpad, um, but the Logitech Lift is more for my everyday casual use. For my microphone, I'm using Rode's XDM100 attached to the PSA One Plus. The Rode XDM100 is a professional dynamic microphone that was actually optimized for streaming and gaming. 
It helps reduce unwanted background noise and can be paired with Rode's Unify virtual mixing software. I'm actually using the XDM100 to record these voiceovers, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. What I really love most about this mic is that it plugs in via USB-C so it can connect directly into my computer without any additional audio equipment. When I'm editing, I alternate between my AirPods Max or my AirPods Pro depending on my mood. To hold my AirPods Max, I have this cheap little headphone holder that clamps onto my desk. And that is my December 2022 desk setup tour. I can't wait to take on the new year with this new setup because it really will change my productivity and in the best way possible. If you've made it this far in the video, comment below and let me know what desk accessory you cannot live without. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button as well if you found this video helpful. As always, everything will be linked down in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Thank you.